Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch and welcome to Mermaid or Mermaid May. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how you can turn your Vroid model into a mermaid and um, yeah. Uh, it's done with surprise, surprise, hair. But the first thing we need to do is go over into the body editor. Um, now you can change the top to whatever you want. I'm, you're gonna notice that I'm missing a good portion of my my body. <laughs> um, but that's fine. We'll, we're gonna fix it in the body editor. All right, that's that's fine. That's fine. And while we're here, we're gonna get rid of part of the bottom too, because we don't need legs where we're going. So let's just erase all the legs. All right, now at this point, I just gotta remember to turn off my shoes because I forgot I had shoes on. Bam. Oh, and I have little toes. Well, that's because I'm a bear, but we'll do socks and we won't see it. There we go. All right, now we're gonna go over to our hair editor, and um, yeah, yeah, let's let's uh, let's get started on this. Uh, I'm gonna add a new procedural hair group. All right, let's let's move all these down. And now that we got that. You know everything kind of coming down like that we're gonna slowly start to adjust this to go around the body let's uh take the mirror mode off just for a minute to adjust the back to kind of curve it a little bit and adjust the front i just i want it to kind of like smoothly sort of adjust into this kind of like that All right and we're going to take the bottom one and bring it down into a tip. And we're going to do it both sides. All right, and now at this point, we're going to um, increase the hair count. I'm going to do it all the way for now. Intervals all the way around. I'm going to adjust the uh, width kind of fill all this in so you see like we don't really have much in the way of gap here well there's some gap all right look I'm calling myself a lair hold on oh you know what all right there's the issue uh, this is a pattern I did not realize like this you know pattern uh, let's do the white for now so I can see what I'm working with all right, you know what I'm actually gonna pull this up a little bit higher and I'm just gonna erase some more of the skin later on A little bit of booty back there but it's kind of adjustable but also kind of not because your center point is always gonna be in the center now uh, at this point we're gonna add some freehand groups to this and what I'm going to do is Let's see, grab my mirror and I'm gonna pull some parts out. Like that. I want some places to put some fins in. So what I'm doing at this point is I'm trying to get in as close to this base as possible. Either on the front or the back. So I can make my uh, tail. Just like that. All right, now let's, uh, we're definitely going to increase this width as much as possible. Even if we've gotten it all the way, we're going to go past the mark. This is just going to require, like, fine-tuning and adjusting to where you want it. Now to make this easier, I just duplicate, and then I flip. All right, now I'm going to do the, uh, dorsal fin. The dorsal. Now at this point I'm going to um I gotta do some texture work. So let's go over here. Uh, usually what I do is I grab like a hair texture I already have since we're putting it on hair textures and um I just color that one. And I'm gonna kind of do more of a like a black mermaid thing. 
I need to draw your pattern on here, and I'm just going to kind of cheat my way through this a little bit with some brushes I already have. Alright, so this is kind of like a cheaty way of doing it, but for me it's fine. Uh, this isn't going to be a permanent thing. This is just more of a quick tutorial. So for you, I would recommend definitely taking uh, more time on creating your stuff. So we'll just do a tail. Tail one. We come back over here. And we're going to do... Um, Yeah, I, I can adjust it later. So one thing I want to do before I edit the textures on these is adjust because I'm going to have to draw out the textures in here. Yeah, I definitely want the width down to zero on all these. Um, and as far as this one, adjust it so the scales are you know, I want a little 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 tighter towards the butt. Not so much. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, let's uh let's turn this whole thing to black real quick. So I have a basic whatever, you know, it's fine. Let's go over to the body editor. We're gonna kind of just uh, get the this all cleaned up here. At this point, I'm just sort of fiddling and tinkering and adjusting to where I like this. Now, uh, this is the most important part is the boning of all this because we gotta grab all this uh, on the, the same bone. We're gonna create a bone group. We're gonna grab one from the center of the body here and we're gonna set that as our base and we're gonna make sure that fixed point is as high as possible and I and four, four or five might actually be enough yeah all right well, let's go take a look at this now keep in mind that it's not gonna be attached yet we got to take that over to unity but let's just see what this looks like So that's kind of a decent movement here. I might want to add a couple more um, bones in there just because I want it to have like a smoother movement. Because it's basically only going to move where every bone is. Uh, and normally, you know, I don't know that I would really consider fish like having that super movement, but you know. Yeah, something like that might be just too much. But you know what? I actually kind of like it, so we're going to go with that. Alright, so at this point we're going to export it. Uh, and it's like just like our hair tutorial, but I'm going to go through it again, um, just in case. So we have this reduce uh, material. It says combine hair mesh. Unclick that! That seems to be a lot of people's problems. They don't unclick that and then you export it. Drag and drop. Argam into Unity. So this is, uh, I'm using Unity 2019-4-2-F1 uh, with UniVRM, I want to say it's 6.9 or 7. 
I mean, yeah, I'm using a uh, Uni VRM point six nine point one. All right, and uh, here is my mermaid ass self. We're going to need the bone weight transfer tool, and we're gonna make this easier and just open it in the prefab. All right, and it should be the last one, so I'm gonna close all these out because dang. I have a lot of hair. Alright, and that just double checks if that's that one. I was gonna rename this tail. Just so I know. I'm gonna take the tail and put it in here. This is gonna go from the head to the hips. Just like any other tail. Bam. Bam. Alright, so now from 69 to 93, we're going to be uh, transferring each of these over. Uh, one of the issues people have is uh, it still looks like it's attached somewhere, and it's because I didn't do one of these steps. And I've had people be like, oh, you can skip this step, but every time I skip one of the steps, it always uh, ends up coming up with a glitch. So I just do all the steps, you know? Don't be lazy. Just do it. Alright, and that should be all of them. And we can go over here and we'll double check. Let's uh, go to play. Whoa! Well then! This is Collider's. Collider's doing what Collider's do. But either way, I still want to rotate the head to make sure that it's not attached anywhere. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh. Oh, no, no, it's, it's there. So I'm gonna scroll down, look for tail, which this one. I'm gonna lower the hit radius down. Because what it's doing is right now it's colliding with other things, so it's trying to move out of the way. And for the most part, I don't really need to worry about that here. I'm gonna give a little bit of stiffness, though. Alright, sounds good. And technically, I still have legs. You just, you know, can't see them. It's kind of much more eel-like. All right, let's uh, let's see. We have this at twenty-six. So if we uh, hinge the gravity a little bit on that. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so these are the settings that I currently have. These are going to change once we go back into the normal one, so I gotta come down here and find it and fix it. And we had 1.11 here, uh, 0.127 here, uh, one, oh, yeah, one four there, and then we had 0 0.026 here. Yeah. And that's pretty much it, and we can go test this out. So give me a quick second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna use VRM Live Viewer. 
Um, it has a couple of songs in it. It's fine. I've used this before. I'm not going to play the music on it because um, copyright issues and such. And uh, let's try it with... Um, BC face. You could do movement range like more. Um, you'll probably get more of that like fishy movement, whatever. And I can fit my whole self on here. I'm a I'm a big fish. If uh, this tutorial has uh, helped you out at all, please give it a like or share it or whatever. Uh, happy uh, Mermaid Month, Mermaid Month, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys like in my next video. Also, like, comment, subscribe. You know, do the YouTube shit. Help me out, man. All right, bye, you guys.